Today we had the, the opportunity to uh, demonstrate what we've been presenting for for many months to our customers. It's uh, the first time that we arrange this uh, such a symposium uh, to highlight the performance of full range of turrets. So we've displayed today six turrets along with uh, some vehicles including uh, the vehicle of our uh, partner Hanwa which provides a unique combination between our 105 turret and the K21 chassis vehicle of uh, Hanwa. So the idea of uh, this uh, symposium was uh, to have uh, a, a real demonstration of this product. All these products are currently either in, except one, all these products are currently either in production or uh, in uh, uh, support and training contract. As far as, uh, as the 3000 series, which includes our, our uh, medium caliber 30 mm and our 105 mm uh, caliber, this 3000 series is uh, or actually under production. Uh, we have produced more than 130 turrets of this kind, uh, with some of the guns which are manufactured in our plants in uh, this trough in the, in the east of France. The turret you see here behind me is the Serie 3105 turret system which is actually in production at CMI and of which the gun is manufactured at Distroff. We are for the moment the only company building 105 turrets that go actually in service. We produce at a pace of about 20 turrets a month and already 130 systems are delivered to our customer. In the meantime, we also have integrated this turret system on the Hanwha K21 chassis, which emphasizes our partnership with this South Korean company in order to build a what's called light battle tank. The turret system that you see behind me here is the Serie 3000 medium caliber system of which you see here the APC variant. The APC variant is an unmanned turret system equipped with a 30 slash 40 mil gun system and is operated from the inside of the chassis. We will move now to my right side where you will see a turret that is quite similar to the APC I've shown and from the outside it's only different is that it's equipped with a missile launcher on the right hand side but this turret on the inside is equipped with a basket and the crew of two is sitting in the turret and not in the chassis like in the APC variant. Both are equipped with a 30-40mm chain gun, yeah, which has the capacity to fire the ABM ammunition. This turret is the LCTS digitalized version of what was earlier called the LCTS turret system. It has received an upgrade in the early 2000s and now it is equipped with a day and thermal imager camera linked to the 90mm MK8 gun from Cockerell. With this system we have the ability to do a hunter killer capacity which means that the tank commander can observe and identify targets, hand them over to the gunner who treats them while the commander goes searching for new targets. Because it's a two-man's turret, 
there is also an autoloader involved in this operation and the autoloader has a capacity of 16 rounds. Those 16 rounds can be a combination of HE and AP ammunition. Alongside the main gun there is a coaxial machine gun installed and on top of the turret there can be an additional pintle mount machine gun style 7.62 or Cal 50 gun. What we are seeing here is the CSC 90 low pressure gun turret system which is in fact a very robust easy to operate turret it has no complicated fire control system, no gun stabilization and is mainly used for infantry firing support. It is equipped with a Mark III gun, of which more than 2500 guns are in service all around the world, not only in our turret systems, but mainly on the Cascavel Brazilian turret systems. last one in the family of turret systems for CMI products is the CPWS turret system which is in fact an unmanned stabilized turret system that can be easily integrated on light vehicles like this one that you see here the Sherpa from Renault. It serves mainly reconnaissance operations, long range reconnaissance operations for example for border patrol and security operations. It can be equipped with 155 rounds of 25 mm ammunition. Additional to the gun, we can add a coaxial machine gun and on the next generation of CPWS we have the possibility to integrate a anti-tank guided missile system. <laughs> 